And what we'll start doing is we'll go ahead and do a map import. Then within your tutorials folder, go under reference, Pasco parcels, workspace, scripts. I know it's buried. Pasco shape. And then select the Pasco parcels shape file. You can see right here the type. If I move over here, this is an AutoCAD shape file. So go ahead and click OK. Now you'll see that there's currently no drawing coordinate system assigned to our drawing. That's kind of a big problem. We want to make sure that we're on the proper datum. So before we import our shape files, let's go ahead and cancel this. Cancel out of this. And then we'll go into our settings. And then right click on your drawing. Then select edit drawing settings. We'll get our drawing settings dialog box right here. We've got all of our units, we've got all of our conversion factors, and so on and so forth, but we want to primarily focus in on the zone. Because we're dealing with Florida, we want to make sure that we're on that coordinate system. So we'll have to do a little bit of scrolling here. Select Florida. And then for the available coordinate systems, we've got just this massive list right here but we only want to deal with NAD 83, just these right here. And since we're dealing with the Tampa, Florida area, we want the west side of the state. So we want the west zone. We don't want meter, we want US foot. So we'll go ahead and select that, then click OK. So now we're on the proper coordinate system and the proper datum. So go ahead and do your map import once more. Then select your Pasco parcels, then click OK. We're now on the proper drawing coordinate system. After that, we'll go ahead and select this data box right here. Click this. We want to create object data. So we want the lines and the fields. Click OK. And then import polygons as closed polylines. Very, very important then click OK. And it'll go through an import process. It could take a little bit of time to do that, so be patient. So our map import has just finished processing. Let's go ahead and do a zoom extents, or ZE, to check out the results. Oh, look at that. We've got the entire county right here. No wonder processing took so long. If we zoom into some of these areas, we have all of our parcel lines within our county zoom in even further. If we select one of these polylines, we've got more than just a polyline here within our properties. We have our parcel ID number, we have our land use designator, we have an owner name listed here. So just a lot of information that we can use that's at our disposal. We've got a very simple legal description so we've got a lot of things that we can use for our concept plan.